Alright, so before I get into this video, I have to leave a quick disclaimer because I know if I don't, people will be going after me in the comments. That might still happen even with this disclaimer, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I'm not an Xbox hater. I want every console manufacturer to do well because then console gaming gets better for everyone. But I'm making this video because even with the gaming community trying to help Microsoft steer the Xbox One in the right direction, they still don't seem to get it. So if you have somehow not heard, Microsoft will be launching their Xbox One X on November 7th of this year. It outperforms every gaming console out there in terms of power and, oh yeah, it has only one exclusive launch title, which is Super Lucky's Tale. Microsoft originally planned for Crackdown 3 to be the second launch title for the system, and it actually looks pretty promising. Was it a system seller? Um, well, I mean, I wouldn't go that far because it depends on the type of person you are. But it still looks really impressive, and it really shows off the capabilities of the Xbox One X. I remember sharing the Crackdown 3 E3 2017 trailer to some people I knew on Discord, and they were all like, meh. And I was the only one I knew that actually wanted that game. And guess what? Suddenly, it just vanished from the list of launch titles for the Xbox One X. As it turns out, Crackdown 3 was delayed until spring of 2018. Keep in mind that this game was first revealed in 2014. Crackdown 3 could have been the Xbox One X's crown, and it still can be, but it's no longer a launch title. That means the only main exclusive launch title for the Xbox One X is Super Lucky's Tale. The Xbox 360 was a system that showed people what console gaming was. Playing games in the comfort of your couch or wherever, and just having a good time. The 360 had so much great games and great exclusives for it, and ended up lasting around 10 years before it was discontinued, but still is a thing today. My personal favorite out of the 360 library is Halo Reach. I first got that game when it was briefly available for free if you had Xbox Live Gold. And the campaign, which I still haven't finished, was great. The multiplayer was outstanding. Combined with the vast amount of game modes and the ability to make your own creative maps was fantastic. Which brings me to my main point. The Xbox One has been lacking in exclusive games for far too long now. Exclusives are the games that sell consoles. If you have that going for you and you have third parties making huge games on the same system, you're going to be practically unstoppable. And Microsoft should have learned this with the Xbox 360. So I'm sure by 2013 they would have it implanted in their brain that the reason or one of the main reasons why the Xbox 360 sold so well was partially because of their exclusive lineup. So what happened? Why did they just pretty much give up on exclusives? I I really don't know. Alright, so Microsoft, my video here is one of thousands of wake up calls for you. The Xbox One X is right around the corner. Removing Crackdown 3 from the exclusive launch lineup for the new system is going to do some damage to it. Guaranteed. Even though I don't want an unfinished mess of a game, I think after waiting for 3 years, you should be able to finish this game. If in 2018 you step up your game and listen to the community, you might be able to make a comeback with the Xbox One X. Alright, so here's what I'll do. If the Xbox One X ends up having real exclusives on it, I'll pick it up. If it doesn't, I'll just stick with what I have. But that's just what I'm gonna do. So if you did find this interesting, please share this video on social media, it really does help. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comments and I'll try to reply to you. I'll have a link to my Discord server in the description if you want to join that. And see you.